now to the star of the show and today's wedding coordinator, my beautiful wife, Hannah. <laughs> Hannah was lucky enough to swipe right in 2018 <laughs> and match with a young Clapham gent. Um, we went for our first date at Oxford Circus and I specifically remember seeing her hanging outside a currency exchange on Oxford Street. Um, and that night she managed to go drink for drink with me as we made our way around various bars in the West End. As the dates went up in number, I increasingly realised that Hannah was a lady with expensive tastes. And I had to can the early restaurant meals and change my tactics to find cheaper dates. Meaning, rest, meaning museum trips and park walks were quickly becoming the common dates after that. <laughs> Uh, we spent any free time we had in that year and a half meeting up and going on adventures, having fun. We had managed to get away to Portugal, Iceland, Ireland in that time. Um, however, as was the case with many young couples, we were kept apart during the first COVID lockdown. And we quickly realised how strong our feelings were for each other and that we kind of needed to move in to prevent that situation happening again. Uh, so on the 4th of July 2020, our Independence Day, uh, we kept our, sorry, we shared our first house and we've been living together now for three and a half years. Um, something that can be seen in the grey hairs of my head, like a tree, <laughs> like rings in a tree. Uh, but we've had a lot of laughs, a lot of Netflix series and a lot of themed dinners and we've had a great time. Um, last summer we got engaged in our happy place in Badalova in Portugal. Uh, which until today was the proudest moment of my life. <laughs> At this stage, I thought I knew Hannah inside out. Um, however, born out of the engagement was the first time I met wedding Hannah. <laughs> wedding Hannah would have cleaned up on The Apprentice. <laughs> as I've never met anyone as organised and as meticulous. She liaised with all the suppliers, followed every local photographer on Instagram, uh, not a table mat was left unturned, so I thank you for an amazing job you've done sorting out today, as I know all the hard work that you've put in. Michelle and I are very proud of our daughter. Uh, as I say, she's our youngest. She's worked and played hard all her life and has loved traveling the globe. Um, and she's always lived her life to the full and had great fun in her life. And she's a real delight to go out with because she always gets me drunk. <laughs> Along with her bigger sister. Um, so far it's been a fabulous day. 
Um, I know it's going to be a great evening and we're all going to get on well together and have really good fun. Love is patient and kind. Love envies no one. It's never boastful, never conceited, never rude. Yes, there is a more beautiful thing than young love, old love. Wishing Mac and Hannah an exciting, fruitful, and the most wonderful journey from young love to old love. And may their hands remain tightly clasped. <laughs> Hi Hannah, take you Matt. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. Hannah, I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honour you. With my body, I honour you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. And all that I have, I share with you. Within the love of God. Within the love of God.
I don't find it surprising at all that we are all here um, now at Matt and Hannah's wedding, just five years later, celebrating their wedding day. Uh, again, observing from the sidelines, I learned an important life lesson. Uh, when you find your life partner, keep hold of them. Uh, so I'd like to finish uh, with a movie quote from When Harry Met Sally. If you want to raise a glass, uh, not the um, limoncello. Um, when you realise you want to spend the rest of your life with somebody, you want the rest of your life to start as soon as possible. To the rest of their lives together, Mr. and Mrs. Andrews. Thank you very much. Um, Matt and Hannah, I, I think you're a really good match. Um, I can see you guys having a fantastic life together. Um, sure, Matt might want you to play cricket in the garden three times a week. Um, and Matt, sure, I think um, Hannah might get you obsessed with Davide and Ekin Sue um, occasionally. Um, but surely that's the compliment uh, that makes you both a perfect couple. Um, so if you'd all like to raise your lemon cello. Yes. Um, to a wonderful marriage, Magna. Thank you very much. My, my hidden treasure chest Golden grand piano My beauty focus me on oh, you Ooh, yeah. Ooh, I'd leave it all My acres of a land I've achieved It may be hard for you to stop and believe But for you Ooh, yeah. Ooh I'd leave it all Ooh, for you Divido. Give me one good reason why I should never make a change Baby, if you want me, then all of this will go away My many artifacts, the list goes on If you just say the words, I'll up and run on to you I do Oh, do you? Ooh, ooh, I do it Give me one good reason why I should never.
never make a change Baby, if you want me, then all of this will go away Give me one good reason why I should never make a change Baby, if you want me, then all of this will go away My friends and family, they don't understand They fear they'll lose so much if you take my hand But for you, ooh, you, ooh, I'd lose it all Oh, for you, ooh, you, ooh, I'd lose it all Give me one good reason why I should never make a change My, my hidden treasure chest Golden grand piano My beautiful Castillo You, ooh, you Ooh, I'd leave it all Ooh, for you Ooh, you Ooh, I'd leave it all